My name is Tommy, I'm a paper mache artist, and in this video I will be showing you how to make plush trap. Don't say I didn't warn you. Welcome to Tommy's Puppet Lab. Enjoy the show. We are going to start off with the head and you're going to crumble newspaper into a ball. And there's the head. So this is what you should have. So I'm actually going to make the muzzle right now. So this is what you should have for the muzzle. So kind of like the shape of a potato. Ha! Ah, there, I said it. I said potato. And it's going to go right there. You can, uh, I think I'm just going to tape that on. All right. When we've attached the muzzle here, we just need to give them a nose. So we'll just crumble a tiny ball and we're going to flatten it. There's the nose. You want to make it flat, like that. There you go. We're going to tape it onto here. There you go. So there's Plush Trap's head. Now we need to make the ears. So we're going to crumble some more newspaper potatoes. Like this. And we're going to crumble three more. So you should have four all together. There, perfect. So those are going to be the ears. We will attach them all later. I want to go ahead and make the bottom jaw. We'll also have a moving jaw in case he's got something sinister to say to you. <laughs> okay, so let's uh, go ahead and do that. So we're going to crumble newspaper under here and it needs to take its shape perfectly. So yeah, it should resemble, this should resemble the bottom of the head. Alright, so that's the head. Now, alright, so we're going to make plush trap the body. So I need to crumble newspaper into the shape of an egg. Yeah. There you go. This is what the body should look like. It should look like an egg, but make sure the, the bottom is flat, round at the top here. Okay, for the hands, I'm actually just going to use a pair of old gloves. Plush trap only has three fingers and a thumb, so we need to do something about the pinky. I'm going to cut it right off. Don't worry, I still have another pair I can use. I need a pair when I'm using hot glue, because hot glue can burn you, and wearing gloves will protect you. So it's important to have one good pair. This is an old one. Now what you want to do is you want to stuff all the fingers in the thumb and put some in the palm so that it stays inflated. I'm just going to take some newspaper and stuff the fingers. There, like that. And we're going to do the same thing to all the fingers and make sure you do the same thing to the other glove. Cut the pinky off and stuff the finger. And there you go. That way when we cover it in paper mache, it will keep its shape and won't uh, look so flat. Now let's make the feet. You're going to crumble a newspaper ball. 
like this. Okay, so now we need to give them three toes. So, we're going to make three newspaper carrots and we're going to attach them. Like that. Just uh, squish it a little bit. There you go. And it gets attached on like this. Or I'm going to tape it on. So we're going to make two more uh, toes and we're going to attach them. One right there and one right there. And there you go, that's one foot. You're gonna make yourself another one. So just do exactly what I did to the second foot. This is what you should have, two feet. So the next thing we need to do is we need to add a cardboard bottoms on here so they're nice and flat and the feet will look a lot nicer. So that's coming right up. All right, so now we are going to line the bottom of the feet so that they're nice and flat. So we're going to take a sheet of cardboard and we're going to trace around it with the foot here. Now I'm going to cut this out. Anytime you are using scissors and razor blades, Always cut away from yourself. They're very sharp and pointy. Get an adult to help you because scissors and razor blades are very sharp. So I'm going to trace myself another one. So you're going to need two of these. All right, so now you're going to take the feet and we're going to tape it onto the bottom here. All right, so now the feet are nice and flat. I trimmed uh, the the toes that were too long, so now they should all be proportionate. Right on. So now let's get moving on to the arms and the legs. For the arms and the legs, I will be using empty toilet paper spools. If you don't have these, you can get these at any craft store. Or you can also just Roll your own cardboard. It's not it's not hard. Just cut some cardboard and roll it into a tube. They won't be this long. So I'm gonna trim them all down just a little bit. Alright, so I have them about the length that I want. So that's about all I'm gonna do for trimming. Now in order to attach the chain onto these, we need to cut out 16 circles. 16, so this is a lot of cutting. So we're going to trace 16 circles and we're going to cut them all out. We're going to need a sheet of cardboard. We now have 16 circles. I'm going to count them all just to be sure. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 circles. Okay, so next part is we need to attach them onto here. So I'm going to be using hot glue for this. You can definitely use masking tape. I'm going to use hot glue because, as you can see, there's a lot of overhang here. So I'm going to trim that off and it's going to be easier to trim when, it's, when you use hot glue. Like I said, you can definitely use masking tape. So 
So since I'm using hot glue, just remember to wear your gloves because hot glue can burn and blister your skin if you are not careful. Glue guns are very unforgiving. Get an adult to help you just to be safe. Okay, and here they all are. I already had them the overhang trimmed. So be very careful when trimming the overhang. Cause that can be very, very tricky. Just remember, always cut away from yourself. All right, I can't stress that enough. I say that a lot. A lot of you have been telling me that and I won't stop saying it because I don't want you to get hurt. I care about you, okay? All right, so now it is time for the paper mache. So I've got the head right here. Here's plush trap. So what you will need to do is you will need to mix one part white glue and one part water. Okay, so I already got my mixture here. You put, so one cup of water, one cup of white glue, or two cups of water, two cups of white glue, however much you're using. You just add the same amount and mix it together. You dip your paintbrush in the glue and you brush glue onto the surface area, like this. Then you're gonna take some tissue paper. I'm using toilet paper because it works really well and it's very cheap. So you're gonna cover the wet surface area with your tissue and then you're gonna brush glue on top of the tissue, like this. And once that's covered up, you're gonna put another layer on. Like that, and then you're gonna brush even more glue on top. So this is two layers right now. And then you're gonna do the same thing again. You're gonna put more tissue on top of it. Just like that. So you're gonna repeat this until all the newspaper and the cardboard is completely covered in at least three or four layers, okay? The more layers you have, the smoother it'll be and the harder and more durable your puppet will be. Okay, so now we're going to take the body here and we're actually going to just cut the bottom off. This will be the groin and this will be the belly. Okay, and this is what you should have. So we're going to cover this part. For the eyes, we will be using styrofoam. This is what we will be using. We will be using a styrofoam ball for each eye. So they need to actually cut some eye holes so that they just fit in nice and snug. So we're going to cut that out. There, the eye should be able to just fit in, so that's perfect. So we're going to cut the eye out on the other side. Okay, and this is what you should have so far. So I'm going to go ahead and keep smoothing this. I'm going to put paper mache inside here so at these we can actually get these eyes in nice and snug. So now this is the bottom jaw. So what we need to do now is we need to cut a little bit of a depression. We're going to cut this out. Okay, and uh, we're gonna, don't throw this part out, but we're just gonna remove some newspaper. 
And then we're gonna put this back in and we're gonna push it in just a little bit. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put paper mache around the corner here. Okay, so these are the ears. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut some cardboard and we're going to glue it on here just to give the ears a little more detail. So it needs to be smaller than the ear itself. So I'm gonna show you what I mean. So I'm gonna cut that out. So just like that. So I'm gonna make myself another one. Okay, so now we are going to glue them onto these ears. So if they have some nice detail. So we're gonna glue these on. Remember your gloves. So we still need to do some more cutting here. So I'm going to take the belly and we're going to trace the bottom around it. Now if we cut it, and that's going to get glued on like this. We still need to give them a little detail so we're going to draw the belly on this cardboard. So we're going to cut this out. So we're going to draw an egg on a sheet of cardboard and we're going to cut it out. And that's about perfect. So that will be glued on like that. Now we're going to take this piece and then we're going to trace around the bottom. Cut it out as well. And that gets glued onto here. So let's start gluing. Just remember your gloves. So we're going to glue this on. Okay, so now I've glued the cardboard onto this, onto this belly here. So now we're gonna take the ears and now we need to attach them. So we're gonna cut some cardboard So we'll need some strips like this, we'll need four of them. So now we have four strips of cardboard. Now we're going to take this, the smaller ones are going on the top, the larger ones are the bottom. So take the top and cut an opening at the bottom, careful when you're using razor blades like that and we're going to cut an opening at that the top take the bottom ear and we're going to cut an opening on both ends all right we'll do the same thing to the other ear take a piece of cardboard and we're going to slide it into the opening at the bottom of the top ear so here's the opening at the top of the bottom ear and we're going to slide the cardboard in. Like this. Now we need to be able to attach it to the head. So we're going to slide another piece of cardboard at the bottom here. That's one ear. Now I know Plush Trap has the ears bent over. So you'll need to do that. That's how Plush Trap has the ears. And we're gonna do the same thing to the other ear. Attach it the same way that we attached this one. 
And those are the ears. So we're just gonna cover the cardboard with paper mache. We're also gonna cut cover the bottom cardboard as well. We need to put the teeth on plush trap. All right, so there's the head and here's the bottom jaw. We need to give them some teeth. So we're gonna need some hot glue and we're gonna to have to cut some cardboard rectangles, very tiny. Okay, so now we have a whole bunch of cardboard rectangles. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna glue them all around the bottom and all around the bottom of the muzzle here. We're gonna leave the back open though. So all around here. All right, put your gloves on and let's get gluing. Just like that. Do the same thing at the bottom of the head. Pretty spooky. Okay, so now we're gonna cover all the cardboard with paper mache. So I'm gonna do that right now. Okay, we are almost ready to paint. So what you should have, should have two hands, two feet, the ears, head and bottom jaw, the body and the bottom here, and arms and legs. Maybe we need to just decay them just a little bit. So I'm gonna draw where I'm gonna cut the holes. And just right where I drew, I'm gonna cut them out and I'm gonna cover the holes in paper mache so I can paint them black. Okay, everybody, let's paint plush trap. So we are definitely going to need, I'm going to use gold and I'm going to mix just a little bit of green with it, brownish green color, but I kind of want him to shine a little bit. You can use a little bit of brown and green if you want. And there, here's the brown. And then we're going to need black and white. And that's it. Those are all the colors we will need. However, I'm gonna add just a little spooky touch. I'm gonna to use my favorite paint, glow paint for the eyes. All right, so let's get busy. So now it's time to put them all together. I'm going to be using chain, you can use pipe cleaners, you can use wires, twist ties, whatever you can find. I'm going to show you how to do that and that's coming right up here. I'm going to be using epoxy glue. So this is what I will be using because epoxy glue will hold better than hot glue. You can still use hot glue. So they can come in tubes like this or I can get them in tubes like these. One solution activates the other solution. You need to make sure you have even amounts 
combine together. You mix it well and then you put it on your chain and then you glue it on. It takes longer to dry but you won't burn yourself and it will have a much stronger hold. Now instead of using scissors, I'm going to be using a Dremel, a router tool. You probably don't have one of these, scissors will work just fine. I'm just going to use this because I have it and it's handy. So I'm going to go ahead and start putting them all together. I'm going to start with the arms and the legs. Just a reminder, when you're using power tools, safety glasses, wear them. Okay, so I have the holes made. You can use hot glue. I'm going to cut some chain here. Make sure you are wearing safety glasses when you're cutting chain. Okay, so what you need to do is you, you take the tubes here. One of them is the epoxy resin. The other one is the hardener, deactivates the resin. So you put, put even amounts on a sheet of cardboard, don't do this on your table or it will never come off. Wear your gloves. I'm wearing safety glasses just to be safe. That looks good. Now you're going to take a toothpick or some something you want to mix with, something uh, you're not afraid to throw in the garbage. You're going to mix it well for about 30 seconds. This will give off fumes, so open up a window, have good ventilation if it bothers you, or you can just use hot glue, but it won't hold as well as epoxy. And don't get this on your skin. Alright, so that should be good. So you have about five minutes to use this before it gets too hard. Alright, so let's start gluing. Take some epoxy and put it into the hole. Use a toothpick for this. Put some onto the chain. And then put it into the hole. Like that. Put some epoxy in the hole. Put some on the chain. And then slide the chain into the hole. So that's how you attach the arms. Just make sure there's a chain at the end here so we can attach it to the body. Okay, same rules apply when you are attaching the feet. You can use hot glue, just remember your gloves when doing so. Or you can use epoxy just like I am right now. Okay, so now we're going to attach the bottom to the belly here. So we're going to do the same thing, we're going to make a hole in the middle on both ends and we're going to put the chain on. This time I'm only using two links instead of three. While the epoxy is hardening, we're going to attach the ears. So we're going to cut two openings at the top of the head. We're going to cut the openings right where I marked them. We're just going to slide the cardboard end inside the opening, just like we did with this ear. Just like that. Then we're going to use hot glue and we're just going to secure that in there. And then Plush Trap has floppy ears. So we're going to 
Just do that. Just bend them. Just touch these up with silver paint. All right, now we're going to attach the limb. So the hands will be attached on uh, both sides, right here on the top. So just make sure that the thumb, just make sure the thumb is facing the right way. So this right here is the left, and this goes on the right. Now so have the hand down with the thumb pointing towards the body. Okay, now we're going to attach the feet to the bottom. So one on each side. Okay, so now we need to attach the bottom jaw. So cut a strip of cardboard, and then we're going to glue it at the back here with hot glue. So now we're going to glue this strip of cardboard to the back of the head. Okay, so the bottom jaw is now attached. He's pretty spooky now. So what we need to do in order to attach this to the body, we actually need to make a hole right here, just a small one, so we can get the chain through. So be very careful when you're doing this, please. Okay, so I've made the hole. I also uh, just lined it with cardboard so you can't see the newspaper. So now we're going to attach the head from here to there. So let's do that. All right, so now we're just gonna put a handle on this, just at the back of the head. These things are very cheap. I paid about $3 for this handle. Just gonna put it here. That way you can hold, you can hold them up. Now to install the lever, you'll need a paint mixing stick. These things are completely free at any paint store. So, I'm going to trim it. I've already trimmed mine. You're going to get an adult to trim trim it for you. We're just going to cut an opening at the back of the bottom jaw. Like that. All right, so we got that in. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to glue it on like that. And just like that, now you know how to make money trap. Oh that. Well uh, we better wrap this up real quick. I hope you enjoyed that video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all next time. Yeah. Bye bye. Take one hand and put these two fingers together. Put your pinky on top and grab your pinky with your index finger and you just made yourself a puppet friend.